Hey beauties, this look is for those of you who actually ride motorcycles and want to get sexy moto babe makeup in your full face motorcycle helmet. I'm really happy that I did this tutorial. I actually looked it up on YouTube before I did it to see if anyone else had done it before and there were a few tutorials out there but they didn't cover the things that I wanted to cover so I think this will be more helpful to those of you who want kind of a glam, sexy motorcycle look when you're riding your bike but you don't want, you don't want to scrape it all off when you take your helmet off. This is the kind of helmet I would actually recommend wearing because it actually protects your face instead of just looking cute. There are other helmets that have kind of an open face right here and they're adorable but they don't actually protect you because the majority of head injuries that you get when you ride a motorcycle happen around the chin area so I prefer a full faced helmet because I like my mouth and I like my teeth and I'd rather not have it scraped off or jarred off in a motorcycle accident. The only problem with these kind of helmets is that they're very difficult to wear makeup in because of the way that they hug your face. Let me show you what I mean. Full face motorcycle helmets, or at least the good ones, have these good cheek pads in here that really hug your face and protect your face during a motorcycle crash impact incident. I'm sure you can't hear me like at all, but you can see here that the helmet is hugging my cheeks and pushing them in as well as hugging my forehead right about here, and the only area that's kind of open is right around the mouth where this chin guard is. So that means that whenever I put on my helmet or I take it off, it's going to scrape off whatever products I've actually used on my actual face. The important part with motorcycle makeup is to focus on the areas you can actually see, which is about right here, and the areas that aren't touched by the protective pads within the helmet, so right here. So that, you know, when you're looking over and someone sees you on your bike, they just see your eyes and like damn that girl is probably really fine under that helmet when you're riding for a really long time all day your face can tend to get dried out because as you flip up your visor or push it down the wind is just getting on your face and it's a little different than riding in a car where you have this huge windshield in front of you you're actually getting blasted in the face with wind so I definitely recommend a good moisturizer as well as sunblock and I like to use Olay's all-day moisturizer and it has um, SPF 15 I've already applied this all over my face you should also be using a really good eye cream and moisturizer and I have a whole skincare video you guys can just go watch that and then know that I apply my SPF over it so let's focus on the eyes first I'm gonna prime them with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion just applying this directly to my lids and blending it out with my finger all the way up to the brow bone and now I'm gonna set this primer using big surprise my Visart neutral matte palette this is an enormous Mac 227 brush it's a huge flat shadow brush and I'm gonna take the colors that are closest to my skin tone and set my entire eye, going all the way from the lid, from this inner corner, up to my brow bone. I set my eyeshadow primer because it makes it easier for me to blend other colors on top of it. Next I'm taking this Sigma E25, and I'm taking one of these chocolatey colors here, mixing these three together, and applying this directly to my crease. First, patting it down, and then just blend until your fingers bleed. See how my under eye here kind of cuts this way toward my temple? I'm taking that line down all the way to there. I'm bringing my shadow down to that area. Now I'm gonna take this little deeper color here and apply it into the outer corner of both eyes and blend this out as well, concentrating it in the outer corner but bringing it in by swiping it back and forth, pulling it in like this. And I'm just gonna go over it with this orangey color here to tone all of the colors together. Next I'm taking this Sephora waterproof colorful well, colorful shadow and liner pencil and this is in the color matte blue. I think that's what it is. What color is this? Where does it even say? My boyfriend's jeans! And I'm just gonna apply this close to my lash line on my lid and I'm gonna take my finger and tap it out onto my lid while it's still blendable and it hasn't dried yet. I really like to make sure I'm not applying too much of the product all at once, so I really like to work in layers, adding more product as I need it. I like to keep a roll of tissue paper around because I use it to basically wipe off everything that I do onto it, and then when I'm done I just rip off the piece of towel that was on top and I have a fresh roll. Now I'm taking this MAC pigment in the color navy, navel blue. <laughs> and this Sigma 252 brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that pigment 
or a lot of it, whatever. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, spraying it onto the pigment and using this to apply it all over the area where I placed that Sephora Jumbo Liner. I'm keeping this close to the lash line because I'm gonna blend it out once it's dried a little bit and I'm gonna pull the color into these darker shades that I've initially put down. I'm gonna let this pigment dry for a second and I'm not opening my eyes super wide as this is happening because I don't want the color to transfer onto my crease. Sipping on chai tea. And after it's dried, I'm going back in with my Sigma E25 and I'm blending out the edges of that pigment into my crease color. I'm not pulling from my actual lid color, I'm pulling from the edges to blend it all together so that there's not some harsh, creepy line there. And I'm doing the same thing, I'm remembering to pull down into this outer line here. Now I'm just gonna clean up any fallout underneath my eye and my favorite makeup wipes are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes to clean out the blue from beneath my eye. And I'm also gonna use it to kind of sharpen up the lower edge. of that shadow on top. So see how I dragged it outwards like that? Now we're gonna do our eyebrows. For smoky looks, I like a really defined eyebrow, so I like to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and this is the color Soft Brown. For me, I don't like too much of an arch to my brow because I just think it looks crazy on me, so I like to keep mine more straight. I'm definitely down to do an actual brow tutorial, but let's just skip that for now. Then I go in and do my under eye area. For this portion, I like to use my Naked by Urban Decay Skin Concealer. <laughs> this is a shade that's lighter than the actual rest of my face, so it acts as kind of a highlighter, but it also really doesn't crease. This is the shade Fair Neutral. Remember earlier I said how when you take off the helmet, it kind of scrapes off all your makeup? You wanna make sure you stay within the areas that are exposed when you actually wear your helmet. So I just take it and dot it here about three times and I can also take it down the center of my nose and around my nose here because these are all the areas that aren't actually going to get touched by the helmet and I'm just brightening up here. Now I'm taking a damp beauty blending sponge and when you blend this out you want to be careful not to drag it out into the rest of your face and keep it only into this area. So I'm just tapping it out and I'm squeezing my sponge and blending out the center of my nose and blending out beneath the eye with this concealer not touching the actual cheek where my helmet goes, bringing it in slightly in this forehead highlight. And I'm not taking it up too high because the helmet also hugs my face there as well. I really brightened up the center of my face with this concealer and now I'm just gonna set it. Set it. This is MAC's Studio Fix Powder in the color NC25. This is just a color that's very similar to my skin tone and I'm using my beauty blender and dipping it into the powder and pressing down around my eye to set that concealer where I know it's gonna crease. Pressing it down here as well in the center of my forehead, along the sides of my nose, corners of my mouth, and here on my chin. First, I'm going back in with that Sephora Jumbo Liner in that matte blue, and I'm using this to line along my lash line, and I'm stopping before that inner tear duct corner. And before it dries, I go in with a Sigma E or 219 and blend it out connecting it to this upper line or upper shadow. I can say words English, I speak it. Then I'm just gonna clean off that brush and go back into my Visart palette and take these chocolatey shades again and go into this outer corner here, connecting it to my upper shadow in this outer corner. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of winged liner and I'm using Maybelline New York's Eye Studio and this is the color Blackest Black. And I have hooded eyes, so for me, I have to take my liner straight out instead of at an upward curve, so that's what I'm gonna do. And again, I'm happy to do another tutorial on how to do winged liner for hooded eyes, so just request it if you want one. Then I'm taking a Benefits Roller Lash Mascara because it's awesome and I don't need to curl my lashes whenever I use it. And I'm just gonna use this to apply mascara to my upper and lower lashes on both eyes. My effing hair! I need to pin it back for tutorials. I'm learning my lesson right now. And I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and do the rest of my face. First, I'm gonna set my eyebrows with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. It's clear. And this is to make sure that my brows don't go flying all over the place when I have my 
visor up and I'm riding. Let's just make sure they stay. It's basically like brow glue. And I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit with this uh, NARS Narcissist palette cheek palette, blush and cheek palette, I think that's what it's called. This shade right here, it's a contouring color. This is Luxie Beauty's 542 Flat Contour Brush. So I'm just gonna dip it into that powder and take it down the side of my nose, underneath, on this other side, underneath, and pinch my nose with this powder. And I'm also gonna take this onto the area underneath my lips, here beneath my chin. Just pinch my chin with this as well. Then I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender out the color to make sure that it's not super harsh. And I'm gonna highlight using the Bombs Mary Luminizer. And this is Luxie Beauty's 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. So I'm just taking a little bit of this and I'm applying it to my Cupid's bow. Taking it on the tip of my finger and applying it to the high point of my nose. And I'm also applying this to my high cheekbones where my cheeks kind of push out to my brow bone lightly right there just above my smoky eye. Maybe a little on the chin, why the F not? I love highlighter. So again, the problem with wearing full face helmets that actually protect your face when you're riding a motorcycle is that these sides of your face scrape off right here because of the way the helmet hugs your face. So again, I haven't applied anything to these sides of my face, only underneath where the helmet doesn't actually touch me, to this area here uh, on my eyes, as well as this area here where there's nothing touching the helmet also. So now I want to put a little bit of more color on my cheek because highlighter is really pretty, but I still want a little bit of blush and bronzer. So I'm just going to use the Narcissist Cheek Palette again because it has literally everything in it that I need. And I'm taking this Japanese br blush brush <laughs> and I'm grabbing this Laguna shade here. It's a bronzer. I'm just tapping it onto the tip of my brush and I'm taking it right here to the tops of my cheekbones over that Mary Luminizer to give the tops of my cheeks a kind of bronzy color. And I'm also taking this a little bit around my brows. Then I'm just gonna take this corally color right there, take some on the tip of my brush, and apply it to the high apples of my cheeks. So I'm using the Natural Lip Liner by NYX. And I like to overline, so I go, I like to go straight across. I like a more straight Cupid's bow, because that's what makes my lips look fuller. And then I fill my lips with this liner. And I'm using this Aquarius Lippy Stick by ColourPop, and it's from their collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And it smells so good, it smells like caramel. And the last step is lashes. I'm gonna use these Ardell Demi Wispies. They're a little more natural, a little shorter than like those super long lashes that you normally see. So if I'm riding around with my visor up, they're not gonna like fly back into my face and annoy me. <laughs> Is that? Goodbye. I am super impatient with my lashes and I always apply them before they are dry enough to actually put on my lid. False lashes are not easy, people. And I almost forgot this step. So I'm going back into my Mary Luminizer with a MAC 219 and this is clean. And I'm applying this to my inner corner here to highlight my inner tear duct. And I actually don't really like this lip color with this blue, I think it clashes a little bit, so I'm gonna wipe this part off. And I'm just gonna do a nude lip instead because that other color was too dark for this. They were just like, my mouth was like competing with my eyes and I was like, I could not stand to look at myself in my mirror. So let's find a nude color and that's it for the face. Again, I didn't put anything on my actual cheeks where the helmet hugs my face. All I used was moisturizer all over my face. I was really careful to use the sunblock all over the areas that are always exposed and yeah, all of everything is basically concentrated in the areas of my helmet that are exposed, that don't touch the actual cheek pads of my helmet and it still looks like I have a completely done face. Let me just go throw on some actual motorcycle gear and put on a helmet and show you that it totally works. All right, so Here's the magic. It still looks like I've applied a full face of makeup. It looks like I've contoured my face. Crazy. Okay, none of this is gonna rub off when I put on my helmet, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like. <laughs> so before you put on your helmet, you might you wanna like purse your lips together like this so that your lipstick doesn't get scraped off if you bump into any of this interior stuff because it really hugs your face, so be careful. And for me, I like to push my hair back so like this way, so that my hair doesn't get like pushed into my face as I press my helmet down. 
Boom. Dang it. <laughs> Let me redo this. This is what I'm talking about. Redo. Okay. The magic. I'm just like tuck my hair back so I look cute. I'm riding, I'm riding. I look over. Adorable with these eyes. Can you hear anything I'm saying? And my face is still being squished, but I'm not worried about it because it's in none of the areas that are actually touching uh, the inside of my helmet. So you can see like, you can still see my highlight. You can see like my beautiful eyes. <laughs> my mouth is completely free to talk. So all of the areas that I highlighted there and applied lipstick on are not covered by stuff. Let's take this thing off and see if it scrapes off any of this makeup that I've applied. So when you take it off, you wanna pull your chin skirt forward and lift while pressing the helmet forward on your face. <sighs> so you can see my makeup is still completely intact. Totally fine. And yeah, motorcycle makeup, biatches. And that's it. Ha! <sighs> okay, I know that took forever. Okay, my face still looks totally done and I didn't scrape off any makeup because I'm not actually wearing any on the rest of my face. Yeah, my brows are still intact. My eyes are, my lips are, my nose is, <laughs> and it looks good. So, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up on YouTube. It's like impossible to maneuver my hands inside these gloves because they're for protection. They have like armored knuckles on them. Uh, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop me a comment if it helped you. And if you have any requests and want to see anything else, be sure to just let me know. I'm everywhere online. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, everywhere as Hey Sherry. Be safe when you ride out there. Wear good gear. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. I feel like give this helmet a little spit shine. My <laughs> visor is all messed up. <sighs> I'm gonna get out of this gear now.